Welcome to this channel. Let's continue this topic. So in previous video, we introduced the Keyence Vision System that high-end level series that is a CVX series. Uh, in this picture, that is a uh, the right side this series, and this is a high-end. And as we talked from previous video, and if your system need a quality check. For example, check the flows, check the dent, or check the defective parts. And this CVX series may be a good inspection tool for your system. In this video, we will mainly introduce IV and the IX series. And generally or briefly speaking, this IV series may be a good tool to check the bad parts for different color or for different size or for some parts lost, for example, the orange lost, or something doesn't present on your part. Or like a IX series, because this is an image-based laser sensor, is a good tool to check the distance to measure the parts. So kind of like a 3D check. And also because this is an image-based, other than the high accurate measurement tool, it also can check the different color. So in this video, we will introduce these two series. Um, back to this uh, catalog, um, other than this uh, vision system, let's shift to vision sensors. So according to this name, sensors seem so uh, smaller than a system or simpler than a system. The vision sensors in Keen's uh, catalog it named the IV series. The typical cases, what we could use the, the IV sensors, uh, most of case what I used, that is checking the present on the part. For example, checking the O-ring present on a connector, or checking uh, the different color um, of the parts. To get an overview of this vision sensor, you could download this catalog here. So the typical style of this uh, IV series is just a small camera here. The whole system, not only this camera, uh, this camera need to connect uh, with one amplifier module. That amplifier module is uh, still small. I will show it after. That amplifier can connect uh, to your uh, controller, for example, PLC or PC system. So this is the typical uh, working area for the IV series. For example, uh, this orange uh, present on this part, or this orange is not in correct position on this part. Uh, and this part uh, is the aluminum or white background, but this orange is black. Very obvious to check it. Um, or like this part, uh, to check if there's a ring on the part, and by parts, there's no ring on the part. To check those present, and uh, like this connector, to check the present, IV series could be a good tool to check this present issues. The typical combination of this IV series system, and so to check the part, we need a camera. And good things, this camera also built in with the light. And uh, the good and the past, the indicators also built in on this camera so that uh, for the operator uh, or for the commissioning wise indicator to show us if the part good or passed. And this camera use a camera cable connect with this amplifier module. Actually, this is a vision controller for IV. And we can also see that there is a one RG45 uh, Ethernet port on this module. And this port is used to configure and test this vision sensor system. Uh, you can use your laptop connect to this module and use uh, the IV navigator software to con connect with this amplifier. And this module also built in the Profinet and the Ethernet IP communication protocol. So from this uh, sensor amplifier list, we can see that um, 
this amplifier network function, it builds in the Ethernet IP and the Perfinite function. When you use this sensor in your system, you just select uh, you want to use the Ethernet IP or Perfinite. It's very convenient. And it also have an expansion unit here. That because uh, for some system, one sensor system, you need to check the part left and right at the same time. So that means one amplifier connect with one sensor. So you can allocate two sensors in each side, one check left, one check right. So this is the typical used way. And to test this uh, uh, IV sensors or to configure this IV sensors, you need to download one software. Uh, you can go to the software catalog here and download and download one software and named the IV Navigator software here. After download this IV Navigator software, it need you to type in one series number, and that series number, you can find out that series number on the top of that camera. And after you registered that uh, series number, you can open this IV Navigator to connect one actual amplifier or this IV camera, you can use the direct connection or uh, you can search or you can search uh, in your network, search this uh, sensor. And also this software built in the simulator here. Uh, for example, I will open the one archive file or what I used one IV sensors before. So this is a project uh, I archived from online sensor. So you can see that um, this is the one, um, one gripper here, and this gripper is taking two parts. And this vision system is used to check the orange present on the part. Also this IV sensors, you can set up the different program or sometimes some people call it a different job. Uh, in this camera and for different kind of parts to change over a new part you can set up a different program and use the PLC to switch the camera program and also you can use this uh, simulation tool to verify the new settings or verify the fine-tuning uh, parameter uh, for example you can click this uh, IV sensor simulation here and, and you can verify, for example, for those double ring or no O ring, this tool can check it. And for this good part, it can pass. You can, you can adjust this parameter here. And double O ring, you can check out that. Or oh, some cases, maybe this if the parameter set uh, too high or too low, maybe the byte case cannot be checked. It. And for this case, it, it can check it. So use this uh, simulation tool. You can validate your parameters using the archived images here. So if we quickly go through the tools uh, used in this IV. So we can find this, uh, uh, so we can find this IV series. Um, its idea is checking the outline, check the color, check the edge pixels, all check the, do all doing some uh, simple measurement issue. For example, measure the diameter or measure the distance between the each pitch. And from this button here, so you can go through the archived images and validate your parameters. And there's also a handy tool here. So you're using the simulation tool. So when you run more parts, so when you go through those archived images here, you will find uh, there's a one 
uh, diagram here. That is uh, the statistic tools built in in this software. Uh, that is really helpful because ideally the threshold you set here, that ideally the bad part should far away from this threshold and all the cool parts should concentrate in one area. So using this tool, you can clearly see that if your threshold setting um, is feasible for this case, or you can verify um, if this tool can feasible this case. If some bad parts and good parts result, and uh, they, they mix together, that means this tool doesn't work for your case. You may have to use another tool to check this uh, bad case or good parts. So that is a IV series camera. In recent two years, there's one series called the IX series is becoming very popular, especially for the measurement. We know for the camera is checking the color, checking reflection to inspect the quality of the part. But you know, some cases like this picture, uh, we need to check the different height of the parts. For a 2D camera, um, to check the height, maybe it's not a feasible job for the 2D camera. But for this IX series, it, this camera is using the image-based uh, laser sensor. So other than the pure laser, it still can take an image picture. And its internal laser function is used to check the different height. And good thing is that because of the laser function, um, so this laser can give you a very consistency result. You know, um, for the aluminum part, maybe the background color can cause the different uh, reflection. However, for this laser sensor, it won't causing the trouble for the laser sensor. We can download the catalog to have an over picture of this uh, laser sensor. So this IX series is a similar style or similar looks like a IV series. The typical combination is uh, this is a camera. All the camera plus the, the laser on this module here. And this cable connect to an amplifier. And this camera is specially used for the high check. Uh, as shown in this picture here. Especially, we need to check maybe the delta is just a one millimeter, uh, such a high accuracy, and this laser sensor can check that. And other than the uh, pure laser sensor, um, so uh, because this is an image-based camera, uh, in this camera, it still have some image checking tool. For example, checking the different color, check the gray, or check the different color. So it's basically an image plus a laser sensor system. And the typical combination of the system is shown like this way. Uh, the camera mounted near the part and this cable connect to an amplifier and this amplifier is the actual the data processing modules here and if you need this system to communicate with a plc or pc um, you need to add another communication module here You need to add another module here, for example, for Ethernet IP, for uh, EtherCAD communication, or for Perfinite communication. And another system configuration is like this way. So it's a master unit, and this is the expansion unit. And those two units can connect together and then connect one uh, communication module. And each amplifier can connect one camera. So for example, for some parts, uh, so you, do, you need to check the left portion and the right portion at the same time. 
So at this case, you could use the master check the left and the expansion module check the right side and uh, connect those results, uh, transfer the result to the PLC and just using one communication module transfer to PLC. To communicate with other systems, other than this uh, amplifier unit, you also need to mount one additional module on the right side, uh, the code DL series module. So we can see that for the for example, Ethernet IP, EtherCAD, um, the Profinite actually they have the Profinite module. It's just not showing here. Maybe this catalog needs to be updated. But it's true um, because I used that. Um, this system can communicate via the Ethernet IP, uh, EtherCAD, and the Profinite. Uh, to configure this uh, IV series, we need uh, one software they call uh, IX Navigator. So if we go to the software catalog, so you will find out that there's a uh, one software named IX series IX Navigator. However, on their website, this software is just an update. If you need one base software, you need to connect the Keyence sales representative, and they will transfer one DVD or transfer the installation file, give you a special link you can download. And after download, uh, and after download that base software, you can you can download this update software to update uh, to that IV navigator software. And after you install that software. As the same idea like a IV navigator, you also need to input one series number. Uh, that series number you can find out on the camera. Uh, to configure or connect to the sensor, let's double click the IV navigator. So it's the same way like a IV navigator, we can connect this uh, button to communicate uh, one actual uh, to connect one actual amplifier. Also, we can open the one archived file, that file archived from the one actual sensors on site. So let me open the one file I archived before. So we can see that this laser sensor is used to check the different height between the base part and the welded part on this base part. So for example, the typical height should be uh, three millimeter. And using this tool, it can measure the distance here. And it's very simple to set up. Um, you just uh, click the top and click the bottom, and this tool can measure the difference between that. Well, this actual measurement come from the laser components in their camera. And you can, after that, you can set up the tool uh, using this threshold to check out, to reject or pass the part. And this style, this software style and the setting is a similar like an IV series. You won't take uh, too much time to learn that. And also for this IV system, uh, you can set up the different program and totally, it can set up the 32 programs in the system and use the PLCs to switch the program for change over different parts. It also archived the picture, so you could use this archived picture to verify the results. So that is a IX series. Other than the CVX, IV, and the IX, um, so there's also a GT2 series, they call the uh, high accuracy digital contact sensor. In automotive industry, some cases they need a LVDT to check the different uh, height uh, on the part. So this is a typical system. If you have an interest in that, you can search the detailed information for that. And also um, to check the barcode, um, uh, they also have a, a barcode scanner here. I also used that before. Uh, you could use the system to check the 1D code or 2D barcode.
And to review the software, the CVX software, they need a terminal software that runs like a desktop, is free to download. And they also need a, a simulation software if you need a backup the online controller to implement your offline program to the actual controller or uh, to offline verify your changes or fine tuning the parameters. And after you install this simulation software, it will generate one machine code and it will also provide you a one link there. And you need to, and you need to go to that link, uh, register that code. And uh, after that, you basically need a uh, wait for a couple hours or the worst case maybe the second day the keys will send to you that activation code and use that activation code you can log in or you can activate this uh, simulation software so for some urgent case keep in mind you need to install this uh, simulation software one day before uh, prepare a while before you go on site and to configure the IV series, you need to use the IV navigator. And this IV navigator software is easy to download and easy to use. And to test, to configure the IX series image-based system, you need to use the IX navigator software. But this IX navigator software, you cannot download from the website. You have to ask the sales representative from Keyes and ask them to transfer to you that link or transfer to you a DVD to install this software. So this is for today. Uh, we used uh, two videos to show how to select to introduce the Keyens vision system for the automation system inspection. And we also show a couple actual cases show the different features of the IVX and the CVX system. And in this video, we mainly show the IV and X, what the main function and what the actual case is for them. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.